Uh, what kind of reaction have you received from, say, like the educational system? Uh, has there been a response from young educators, uh, daycares, uh, those kind of come to mind, child care providers, things like that? It, it's been tremendous. Um, we, you know, they, they said, finally, we have something for the young children. And, um, you know, it, it's... And to be honest, when I first did it, when we first made these games, the whole cause and effect thing, you know, uh, we didn't know. We we were just right, right. doing fun games. And, uh, you know, the oh, bubbles pop and balloons break and things. Right. And, and I'm sure you were just clapping and giddy. And Yo, wee! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but we had, <laughs> Kurt made we, uh, it pop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we had uh, preschool teachers writing us, telling us, these, this is wonderful for the little ones, so, you know, teaching them the very basics. And we went, right. huh. We're on to something here, so that's what we've continued to do and, and, and to grow it that way. And I think at a, on a real rudimentary level, you, you are kind of teaching hand-to-eye coordination. Uh, right. Uh, you're, uh, also, just the, the bonding time of, of a parent holding a child yeah. on their lap as, as they yeah. allow the kid to play with the computer. And it's parents and grandparents and you know uh, daycare providers that that are really you know doing the bonding right there. And, and another special thing that that we've uh, noticed that we've gotten are the uh, kids with special needs are able to right. play these games mm -hmm. very easily. And you know it just touches our heart to know that we're you know improving their lives and their their care providers, uh, giving them something to um, you know to bond with the with these kids with and uh, right. that, that's been a, a wonderful surprise that's an interesting uh, point and it kind of raises to me not it, that just with special needs in particular could be you know you're you're transcending into uh, all the age levels with with uh, with yeah. those needs and and giving somebody a, a you know a chance to enjoy the computer in such a way that it's not frustrating for them well and and there's there's a lot of grandparents who send us notes saying I can play this game with my grandchild. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and yeah, you know, sure. that's good. And and the other the other surprise was that uh, we we got a uh, in the very beginning we got a lot of emails from uh, colleges across the U.S. down here right. and uh, at, from college kids late at night they were sending me emails. Uh, <laughs> You're finding your way into the bored college student market. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. 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 Now, what uh, what funds the program? What funds uh, your your website, and and what keeps you guys going? Well, we have an advertising design studio called Punch, um, and we do lots of websites and uh, and uh, you know adver advertising for yeah. a lot of you know, Fortune 500 companies, and that basically is doing it right now. We're I see. we're we're not making you know we're selling selling T-shirts, we're selling uh, you know the the stuffed plush toys of Sly Cat. Yeah. But um, you know, and with the holidays coming up, they're great stocking stuffers. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, Jim, and when you say advertising, is there any advertising on this site itself? No, no. You know, we we built um, before we relaunched it again here. We in ninety uh, or uh, two thousand seven, we had a uh, um, an HTML site where we we had it. So we were building it to do that to to get advertising because we started realizing how many people were coming to the site. Yeah. And it's a very targeted audience. We thought, oh, you know, we can make some money here. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't feel right. It it was it was one of those things where we had Stealing one candy from a baby gem. Yeah, you know, and it, that's what it felt like. So we just ran our own banners on there, yep. trying to get people to our store for a while, and then just relaunched it again without all that. So, and uh, you know, and the response has been great. You know, so many thank yous to to say, you know, thank you guys for doing this. But um, you know, we we have some things in the works too that we're hoping to raise uh, to to make some money on because we would love to be doing this full time. Yeah, but it's you know, it's not paying the mortgages yet. Right, right. <laughs> Christy, questions uh, coming in in the chat room. Uh, we have a couple of comments and uh, one note from Dot Source uh, saying we need a baby-proof keyboard. Apparently, their 18-month-old mm. son have you seen this uh, keyboard sticks over here? His, his fingers underneath the keys and lifts them off. So right, right. Uh, Dot Source is kind of wondering if uh, if we can address that issue can too. Can we smell a partnership? There you <laughs> go. How's that sound, Jim? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't guarantee anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Disclaimer on the site says we are not responsible yeah. for There's spilled right. juice. Disclaimer. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. That that's that's the the worry that that I'll get a lawsuit one day claiming you know. The, there you go. I got to yeah. replace all these keyboards. Your laptop computer, people. You can plug in a USB external keyboard. Pick one up for fourteen dollars at the local super hey. center. There you go. Yep. So, and then you yep. can replace it if it gets damaged. That's just fine. Um, MMD Murphy says, I would love to see it as a front end for other programs. 
Hmm. Huh. I, I, well, you know what? And I can hear that, Jim, but I, I think as, as, a, as a bit of a techno geek myself, I think being a web platform, I think it gives you a whole new, a whole bigger audience than, than, a, than a front-end application, something that you would install. Would you, would you, what are your thoughts one on of, that? Yeah, one of the things that we're considering, because of the, you know, when it's online, you can't, I guess, block out some of the keys from like the function and, uh, oh, okay. and command yeah. keys and things. Um, you can't block those out, leaving them online. But we're de- right now we're developing the games so that you can download it uh, and just play it on your desktop without having an internet connection. Okay, for you know, it. yeah, based on that, that does kind of make some sense, doesn't it? Yeah. You don't have to yeah, worry and, about them accidentally. You know, pe- people say, you know, write to us a lot saying, you know, oh, my baby shut down the computer and, and this and that. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, online you can't block out those keys. So right. it's, you know... But we are developing that, uh, and you know that will be something that we actually charge for too. So that that'll right. be okay. A so that'll help fund yeah. the project as well. Yeah, and it is good, you know, that the space bar is the biggest key on the keyboard, and and right. that kind of works. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. I- um, we we do have another idea. See, this is the great thing about having this uh, worldwide <laughs> chat room is uh, we've also had a response. Uh, membrane keyboards can be submerged in water. So, yeah, there you go. Um, there oh, yeah. we go. For, there's some comments yeah. for the viewers, you know. We <laughs> love our chat room. <laughs> yeah, That's good. I like that one. Yeah, there. All right. So uh, anything else that we should know about uh, your service is kneebouncers.com. Uh, certainly, if you've got young young kids uh, under four years old, then this is a chance for you to get a you know it's a free service. Uh, as Jim was saying, there's no advertisements on the website, and you can just bring it up. Uh, you can blow it up full screen if you like. Hit the view button on your uh, on your drop down in your browser, and you've probably got a button there for full screen. It'll blow it right up and uh, give you a right. chance to be able to uh, play some games with your your very young one, uh, which I think right. is it's a lot of fun. I've, I've played some games with uh, with my four year old daughter, and and it's it's fun to see how that they react and and it's especially I, I think they get a lot out of it as far as like I say the daddy daughter time and it's, it's right. very special right. for the kids right and then the only thing the other thing I'd like to say is that um, in our store you can get a plush toy you can get a t-shirt and 10% of, of everything we sell is going to a charity in New York uh, called Children AIDS Society um, which is a wonderful uh, uh, foundation that, that really helps kids in need and their families so um you know that there's a little incentive too to shop knee bouncers. <laughs> there you go, ten percent going to the Children's Aid Society. Uh, right. Very good. Uh, we appreciate you coming on the show with us today, Jim. Mm-hmm. Oh, love wish you, you uh, for having- wish you all the best with your venture with kneebouncers.com. And uh, certainly, if you're uh, if you're tuning in after the fact, you can uh, also get the uh, link and information in the show notes for episode number one fifteen. Jim, thanks again for being on the show. Thank you, Jim. Take care. Thank all you. the best. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.